the first time you fail at aligning something much smarter than you are, you die. There's been a lot of doom and gloom lately surrounding AI, especially from experts in the field. An open letter was released last week that calls on world governments to issue a moratorium on training artificial intelligence models more powerful than GPT-4 because advanced AI could represent a profound change in the history of life on Earth. Wow. Wow. That sounds pretty dramatic. So what's the deal? Why are all the smart people yelling at us? In this video, we're gonna discuss the concerns surrounding AI alignment, the progress of GPT-4, and the debate on whether to halt the development of even more advanced AI models like GPT-5. First of all, we're talking about GPT-4 here. This is the large language model that powers apps like ChatGPT and Bing's newly released Search Assistant. But the version of GPT-4 in each of those apps is a different flavor of the model. It can be given different system instructions in each of those apps. And in Bing's case, it's limited in how long it will let a conversation go on before terminating it. Scientists and researchers, on the other hand, are working on the raw model, you know, the good stuff. And the things they're finding that it's capable of are beyond our expectations from a model like this. Not only that, there is exciting research showing that we can get more out of GPT-4 by combining it with other narrower intelligence models. One metaphor that might make this easier to understand is if you think of GPT-4 kind of like the prefrontal cortex. It handles the logic and the reasoning while delegating other specific tasks to specialized areas of its brain, its artificial brain. This has led to some really impressive results. We are past the point where in science fiction, people would be like, whoa, wait, stop. That thing's alive, what are you doing to it? A potentially generally intelligent system with consciousness and agency has the potential to change our world in amazingly positive ways. These are just some of the ways we're capable of imagining right now. And if we are able to build an intelligence that's smarter than us, a super intelligence, the possibilities are endless. But only, only if it's aligned. Alignment is a specific term that AI researchers use to describe the process of ensuring that an artificial intelligence system behaves in a way that is consistent with human values. I think a lot of people are surprised by the capabilities of GPT-4, right? So now people are waking up, okay, we need to study these language models. AI alignment is a topic that spans multiple fields of discipline. Computer science, neuroscience, psychology, philosophy, it's a very difficult thing to get right. We don't fully know how to get it right just yet. Given the exponential pace of AI development over the last few months, a lot of research needs to happen very fast. Are Earth's billionaires going to put up like the, the giant prizes that would maybe incentivize young hotshot people who just got their physics degrees to not go to the hedge funds and instead put everything into interpretability in this like one small area where we can actually tell whether or not somebody has made a discovery or not? As GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 begin to circulate through world economy, we are discovering that it is a much more capable model than we predicted. <laughs> we might have unlocked the key to intelligence with a relatively simple algorithm of stacking transformer layers on top of each other. In other words, we can potentially create smarter and smarter systems just by throwing more hardware at the problem. This is hotly debated right now. We don't know if we're gonna hit a limit on the intelligence levels we can reach with this technique, but we as a species are about to quickly find out. OpenAI released a statement saying, at some point, it may be important to get independent review before starting to train future systems. And for the most advanced efforts to agree to limit the rate of growth of compute used for creating new models. 7,900 people and growing have signed the open letter saying that point is now, calling for no training runs larger than GPT-4 for at least six months. Rumors have circulated that GPT-5 is being trained as I'm filming this on 28,000 GPUs, and it will be ready by December of 2023, this December. OpenAI itself hasn't made any public statements regarding this as of this recording. And some people within OpenAI believe GPT-5 will achieve AGI, artificial general intelligence for at least some definition of that term. If you don't know what that means, I made a previous video you can watch on that topic. Look, the arrival of strong artificial intelligence has been inevitable for decades. If you agree with experts and think we should stop training larger models than GPT-4 right now, you could sign the letter too. I'll leave a link in the description. The sentiment of the letter is that we can enjoy a long AI summer and take our time integrating GPT-4 into our society while we do the critical research necessary 
to ensure humanity's safety. We can only do that though if people are paying attention to what's going on and participating in the conversation that will shape humanity's destiny. It sounds crazy and very science fiction-y, but this is real. It's happening right now. And if we do nothing, we are on an unsustainable path right now. There's a lot at stake if we fail to align a generally intelligent system. If you want to know more about those details and exactly what's at stake, you should watch this video next. I don't know where it's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's gonna be somewhere.